Yeah. So you wanna you wanna rob your own people and shoot them, yeah? You want this shit? I'll get back to you. You know what? I, I, I took that off me, off I'm, you. I'm for getting my own protection because I, I just yeah, worry about yeah, but your I own react. your own protection, yeah. Your like own protection like best be your boys me. now because yeah, you know why? You know why? You know why? Because I wouldn't ever fucking shoot you, fam. That was mad. <laughs> you almost killed me, blood. And just for that, fam, I don't give a fuck what rank you've got <laughs> over me. I'm coming for you, blood. <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you are? You're my boy. You're moving like my op. You literally just shot me, Tommy. If I'm your boy, You're meant you to be my respect, family. No? If, if I'm going to be your leader, you respect me, no? Yeah, so you shoot me in order to get my because respect. How the fuck are you ever going to listen to me? No matter what I say to you, no matter what I do, you don't fucking listen. So how do I make you listen? Tell me how I make you listen. How did I not listen to you? Bro, you I never spoke my mind. to anyone, fam. It's, it's I your spoke way on the highway. my mind. I spoke yeah, my I mind. Yeah, I mine back, but it doesn't matter. It ain't going in your ears, is it? Say less, big man. I'll see you when I see you, innit? Right. Keep your guard up, innit? Puss, yo. <laughs> hey, see, this is why you gotta be fucking dumb sometime then. He just creates better RP anyway. Civil War. Tommy too. Yo, you busy? No, what's up? Can I meet you and just you somewhere? Uh, yeah, I have all the boys with me, but we can go to Muchang and just go in my office alone or something. Or uh, you yeah, want no, like... no, it's just me and you, that's all. All right, yeah, go to Wuchang. All right. See you something? No, 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 no. I just want to know how the leader of the biggest gang in the city handles it when his own boys don't listen and how they, you know, how they operate. Go, I'm going back. I even, I don't think I can anymore. Yeah, I got fired. Fuck. Nice. I want to be careful. I'm watching that, bro. All right, appreciate it, baby. Uh, let's just go in the park. I thought there's a fucking show here. Uh. <clears throat> if you don't hear from the boys, he fucking chefed me up. Nah, ain't on that. Ain't on that. We're in a ceasefire right now, anyway. Oh shit, bro. Or cease stab. What's up, boss? Uh, bit of a weird one, right? So, I'm coming to you for advice. Okay, okay. Considering, like, you guys are, like, run this whole fucking city. Right, and, right. And obviously, you're the leader. You're the best person to come to, right? So... Yeah, what's going on? What the fuck do you do when one of your boys don't listen to you? Don't seem to respect you? And always stepping out of line and getting everyone else in trouble. What would you do? Like, what do you do with those boys? So is he like going against what you guys said before? Like, for example, it's like, yo, guys, let's stop fucking with Burger Shot. You know, it's causing a lot of problems. And he goes and continues fucking with Burger Shot. 
Yeah, like going against what everyone else wants to do. It's not on the same page as everyone. And then even, even, even if I like say something, it then kind of like, they'll try and turn it against me, you know, like as if I'm in the wrong. Is, are they loyal to the group? Are there yeah, any no, they're super loyal, loyalty? super loyal to the group. Oh, I've had similar issues with like Rami on that shit. Rami just can, always does some fucking dumb shit. We're like, what the fuck? Um, I think you just gotta have a real fucking talk. Be like, hey man, we all gotta be on the same page. Or shit just ain't gonna fucking work. It's just gotta work smoothly. If people aren't on the same page, people aren't respecting each other. Just ain't gonna fucking work, bro. But if you try know, talking man. and that don't work either, like, what would you do? Like, what do you do? What do you do? You love this dude like a fucking brother? Yeah. That's a tough one. I think you really, I mean, and the heart to heart ain't fucking working? I've tried the heart to heart. I've tried shouting. Like, give me, give me a real example of what he did. <sighs> Like, does he think he's the fucking leader type shit? Well, it's more like, imagine, imagine one of your boys put you in cuffs and then like, goes for your phone. Like, it's on disrespectful shit all the time. And we've done shit like before, but it's all like joking shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, if it's serious though. Yeah, if it's serious, then that's, uh, that's a little iffy, you know what I mean? It feels like he's, he's He's trying to take the fucking top spot almost. They say he wants to like bore the whole PD over dumb shit as well. Okay, well that's like a fucking daily thing with Rami and Randy. How we how we function is like I let everybody do what the fuck they want. Unless it's something that starts affecting the group. And then if it's something that starts affecting the group, I just lay it down and honestly everyone just follows. Because we have that just trust over the years. Yeah, so the way it is, is they respect, they, they just respect you, innit? So I need to earn yeah. the respect with them. I think you gotta lay down the fucking law, man. If if he don't listen, put that motherfucker on probation, bro. Or just take the chain and say, right, cool. Like, cut him out whatever jobs you're doing, whatever, just come out for a bit. Let him know he's no fucking probation. He's gotta get with the crew, get on the same page, or it just ain't gonna work. Let him know you fucking love him at the same time though, so he doesn't feel like it's some bullshit. That's how we always function. We've, we've had fucking fights in the past and people just doing their own shit, but at the end of the day, everyone, everyone usually gets back on the same track. So how do you think you earned respect with them, man, though? Like, how do you think you got, like, Ryan and everyone to respect you? Dang, well... Because that one happened overnight, fucking... right? So... No, nah, that just happened over years. We came up together pretty much. They were with me from day one. So but when I met them, we, none of us were shit in the fucking city. Then we just built, well, similar to you guys. You guys were shit and you built the fucking gang together. You be trying. I mean, trying. You guys got fucking a lot of shit going on. Have you talked to the whole group or just him alone? Uh, not yet. I'd like situation just happens i thought i'd come to you first and i just wanted to get like an outsider's point of view because we've had many mandem meetings you know we always have these meetings trying to work out what we're on next what we're gonna do making sure we all move together as, as like a one unit or on the same page honestly maybe we have a fucking big old meeting with the whole gang and have that talk of everyone being on the same page and once he realizes that maybe he fucking some shit up he'll, he'll act right It seems like he wants to get like in over his head a lot. But, like the police fuck him up, and all of a sudden he wants to start bombing the PD and shit. Yeah, he's wants to get revenge, you know. Yeah. He's like he's like a he's like a Rami almost. Yeah, like he just he don't don't want to take no disrespect. He sees it as it's like sporadic. a violation What's against the, the mandem, basically. So. What's the word when people just act fucking reckless in the moment? Spontaneous, reckless. Impulsive? Impulsive, yes, yeah, the one. Impulsive, yeah, he's fucking impulsive. R Rami's super fucking impulsive. So in a moment, he'll do hella dumb shit, but at the same time, you gotta just understand that about some people. Yeah, you know, no, everyone's if different. You're really it? It is what it is. 
He's just impulsive. He's like, yeah, he's he's an impulsive motherfucker. He's gonna do some dumb shit in the moment. So, you know, like eighty percent of the wars we've been in is is from fucking ramen. Now what but if? At the end of the day, when we if, talk to Rami, he respects the shit and he, he'll, he'll he'll get in line with stuff. What if uh, I kind of switched and shot him? Have you already shot him? <laughs> yeah. But that's all good. I mean, we've all shot each other many a times. Because I feel like it's the only way I can get him to listen, you know? Yeah, so I'm, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes if he ain't listening, sometimes you got to show him like you better fucking listen. Ooh. I said, I said, if the talks ain't been working, throw that motherfucker on probation. Beat the fuck out of him a little bit. All right, fair. I don't like, waste why your time. Stomping his, like, why are you stomping his head on the ground? Like, I fucking love you, man. Why? What you doing, bro? We got so much going on. You throwing it all away. You know, kick him in the fucking head. That seems a bit guy. fucking sick, though. Yeah, it is sick. But then he'll realize, like, oh, fuck, this dude is a sick fuck. And then he'll listen. All right, I appreciate you, man. I don't want to waste your time in it, so. All right, baby. I thank you making time for me. All right, good luck with that shit. I'll I need try. a show here if you want to hang out a little bit. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Difference is Dwayne's gonna wear the whole fucking game. 